Understanding root barriers. For many homes in the Houston area, root barriers should be an essential part of foundation maintenance. Used correctly, root barriers may improve foundation performance, delay or even eliminate the need for foundation repair, and when foundation repair is done, root barriers can make the repair more effective. Unfortunately, many homeowners do not know what root barriers are. They do not know how they work or what they do. This video provides basic information about root barriers. It will explain what root barriers are, what they do, how they work, and why they should be an essential part of foundation maintenance for many Houston area homes. Consider a foundation with a large oak tree in the backyard at the right side as shown. A large oak tree removes 150 to 250 gallons of water from the ground every day. Over time, this causes the soil under the tree to settle. That portion of the slab that is also under the tree also settles as the soil shrinks. It is not unusual for a large oak to cause the ground to settle one to three inches or more. When this happens, the foundation reacts by tilting and bending toward the tree. This can damage the house and make the floors out of level. Root barriers work because they reduce the amount of moisture that the tree takes out of the soil supporting the foundation. After a root barrier is installed, the soil under the slab may swell and can even reverse to some degree the damage that was done by the tree. Consider a slab foundation where there are two oak trees that are affecting the foundation. Tree roots spread in a roughly radial pattern. They generally move from the center of the tree outward. So to see where the roots need to be cut, we draw a dashed line from the center of each tree to the outside corners of the foundation. You want to cut the roots that fall within the bounds of the foundation and the dashed lines. The red lines show where to place the root barrier material. To get a better understanding of how a root barrier works, take a look at this side view of an installed root barrier. A trench is dug at least 30 inches deep. The root barrier is then placed inside the trench in a vertical position. The trench is backfilled with the same soil that was removed. The roots are pruned when the trench is created. The vertical root barrier makes it much more difficult for the roots to get back to the foundation. Root barriers should be considered in any foundation maintenance program when there are trees that overhang the house. Foundation watering is intended to overcome the normal seasonal variation in soil moisture. It cannot overcome or come anywhere near replenishing the amount of moisture that a large oak can remove. Root barriers are especially effective for houses that show recurring damage during the dry summer months and during droughts. For many homes, root barriers can effectively eliminate the need for foundation repair by reversing previous damage caused by trees. This video is made by R. Michael Gray, PE. I specialize in making structural engineering reports and home inspections for real estate transactions. I also provide homeowner consulting services related to foundations and other structural performance issues.